Do players leave? The players are going to leave regardless. <laughs> Some players are going to leave regardless. Only so many players can leave. And this transfer portal, it's got to settle down. It just, it will settle down to a certain extent because we're going to start to get back reports and numbers and players are just going to learn about some sad, sad stories of players not finding a home and being stuck. And also they're going to come to realize that the grass is not always greener. They're going to be, they're going to be so many of these transfers that are going to go to their new team and they're going to find out, wow, I'm the fifth cornerback here too. Or think that they had, you know, a few little issues with their position coach and their head coach at their former school and then find out, you know, the guy that I'm working for now, I really don't like. Adam says Miami could hire Nick Saban and all of a sudden Saban would be deemed no good. Uh, I believe Adam is referring to Miami detractors and critics who don't believe anything that Miami does is any good or anyone that goes to Miami. Well, that has been the case for a long, long time. Yes, Exploring with Ben, please hit the like button. Man, we've got uh, over 900 on the line. Appreciate everybody being here, especially since it's a uh, late notice. Of course, I saw the news, prepared myself uh, for, really didn't prepare myself. All I did was uh, send out notifications to a number of people on the Michigan and Miami media side to say, hey, I would love for you to come out, come on to give your perspective. But other than that, this is why it's uh, crucial for people to um, subscribe. Subscribe to the main channel, please. Voice of College Football. Subscribe to your favorite team channel. And then if you simply want to help us grow the network of channels, then subscribe to any of them. Even if you don't like the teams, just subscribe to channels. Uh, once we get past 1,000 subs, then if you really don't want to be a subscriber to that particular channel, that's fine. Back off and unsubscribe. But we w would like to get, and I know I'm talking to the, the two worst fan bases to sell this, Miami and Michigan, to tell you to go subscribe to the Notre Dame channel. But we are at about 920 subs. YouTube loves 1,000 subs. They reward 1,000 subs. The algorithms explode. They start to push the, they figure you're, this person, this channel must be around to stay. So they start to push the content out into the traffic. So get us to a thousand subs on the Notre Dame channel in particular, although we've got Auburn, Tennessee, Texas A&M and LSU all needing to get to a thousand in Florida, Penn State, Wisconsin, North Carolina. All right. Virginia Tech, West Virginia. Thank you for that. Bird Stone. Uh, Adam really likes the Kevin Steele. Steele from Maryland. He was in the midst of uh, re-signing his contract, re-upping there. Justin bringing Tom Herman as the Michigan OC. Good thought. I like it. Michigan believes they've got a word manual problem. Well, you certainly did with the Harbaugh situation. He should have had enough pride and self-respect and dignity for the university to say, again, we're going to cooperate with you. We're not going to say just because you're out looking at NFL jobs, you're fired. We're done with you. We understand. You want to explore some options. You got two weeks. Two weeks. We can't have this a fiasco for five weeks. Two weeks. That gets us a decision by National Signing Day. Although that may have worked in Michigan's favor, because if you think about it, had Harbaugh left in two weeks, let's say January 20th, with National Signing Day just a few weeks prior to that, or just a few weeks after that, they may not have secured the entire class. Although I believe 22 of those 23 
signings were back from the December signing period. So that might have been fine. And then, of course, those players would have waited to see who they hired. It's fun to bring two different fan bases together like we have today with the Michigan fans and the Miami fans. They don't interact very often. It's not like bringing together Ohio State and Michigan fans or Miami and Florida State fans, for example. So, Uncle Rico's got some juicy information. I'm not going to post it on the screen there because we cannot verify it. So basically everything I post to the screen, I try to get to as many comments as possible and post them to the screen, even if it's for 15 or 20 seconds. Uh, so everybody can be on as much as possible and try to read through as many comments as possible, unless you guys are having your own private conversations or if something stated that's not relevant to what we're talking about. That said... That said, if somebody brings a rumor to the surface, well, I'm not going to post that comment. That doesn't mean it's not legit in terms of it being factual or can't be discussed, of course. Yeah, so as Dennis states here, Gaddis talked about this opportunity with Harbaugh before accepting it. It appears that he's taking the Miami OC position with Harbaugh's blessing. Harbaugh, it seems more and more like he thought he was gone. 